intense preparation, always striving for improvement and ideally perfection, and in the end, being faster and better than the competition. This is what characterizes professional cycling, but this is also what characterizes the partnership between Schwalbe, the world market leader for bicycle tires and tubes, and BASF's performance materials division. And today, I'm joined by two experts who have jointly developed an absolute breakthrough in bicycle tube technology, the Aerothane tube, co-created by BASF and Schwalbe. And I'm very happy that Felix Schäfermeier from Schwalbe and Mark Ottens from BASF are here with me today. Hi, Felix. Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi, Mark. Hi, Felix. Um, as I said, this is a breakthrough innovation in bicycle tube technology. And Mark, you have been deeply involved in the development of this. Um, what you're using here is a material that's called Elastolan TPU from BASF. And you actually claim that this is ideal for bicycle tubes. Give me some proof. Why is that? So the trademarks of um, thermoplastic polyurethane are elasticity, flexibility, and the outstanding wear resistance. Mm -hmm. and on top, you have a very good um, performance level of the mechanical performance. This means the high tensile and tear strengths on the one hand, and on the other hand, the good elongation, damping, and resilience behavior. You can see this, mm -hmm. especially on the tube, for example. Okay. Um, and um, this together leads to a very durable material. Mm -hmm. um, but on top, you also have a very low air permeability. Mm -hmm. And um, this makes this material ideally um, in use for bicycle tubes. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's definitely the answer on the present compromise between the riding performance on the one hand mm -hmm. and the good um, breakdown resistance on the other hand. Yeah? So, um, and on top you have the typical um, other characteristics of TPU, so the design freedom. So you have really the opportunity to customize the product um, to the individual application, mm -hmm. uh, to the needs, which um, were required by, by Schwalbe. And on the other side, you have the thermoplastic character. Um, mm -hmm. So you have also advantages in recycling, in handling, and also in processing. OK, sounds, sounds actually like an ideal material for this application. And you already sound like a bicycle expert. But actually, you are the bicycle expert here. <laughs> Felix, you have been a professional cyclist in your previous career before you started at uh, Schwalbe. What drives you to come up with innovations like this? What's your target edge? Yeah, so you mentioned it in the beginning, it's, it's like competition. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of us have a background in professional cycling, so also on a competition level. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's our aim to improve on a, on a daily basis, to improve the product. Sometimes really hard, uh, like this project. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, it was quite difficult to, to find the right direction. But I think today we have a really good product. and. For Schreiber, it's like 100% yeah, focus on tubes and tires. So everything or every day we, we uh, talk about tires and tubes. Mm -hmm. And that's our uh, passion and that's the way we want to go. Tell us a little more about the uh, cooperation. How did it go? Were you sometimes a bit uh, annoyed by BASF or did everything yeah. go perfectly well? Yeah. So to be honest, in the beginning, uh, thermoplastics were like a, like a black box for us mm -hmm. because we were 100% focused on, on butyl and rubber. So it was quite difficult to, to find the right approach. And uh, yeah, it was a, a really good thing that we came together with, with the BSF and with Mark to have him on board. Mm -hmm. And then it was a long-term cooperation. We started in 2015 okay. with the first idea. So it's almost five years ago when the, the project started. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think that's somehow, somehow really similar to cycling where with really endurance yeah. And, and hard work to do in the background, yeah. uh, but now we are on stage and have a product. Which is good. Con congratulations for that, definitely. Um, Felix talked a little bit about the, the cooperation, uh, Mark. What was, I mean, you're an expert on the material, and Elastolan is used in a variety of applications. It's a very versatile material. What was the specific, what were the specific challenges in bringing this into a bicycle tube? Did you need to know more about the application? What was it? Exactly. So, as it was indicated by Felix, it was a new world for us mm -hmm. to jump into this um, bicycle tube industry and um, get experience on bicycle tubes. So, to get really um, the needs out. Yeah? So, what is needed? Which requirements have to be fulfilled? Yeah? And to transfer this in technical um, parameters. Yeah? This was a challenge for us. 
And I think on the other side, it was an absolutely new world also for Schwalbe, yeah, because uh, they worked before only with rubber mm -hmm. and not with thermoplastic polyurethane. Yeah? And um, this is also not, not easy. Yeah? If you have to build up a complete new production for a new material, um, you also have to make um, your experience. Mm -hmm. did, I, did I get that right? So you also uh, went into, or you discovered new ground in terms of manufacturing? The uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So we found a complete new approach, and it's the first time that we are manufacturing, producing product in Reishof in Germany, in our headquarter. Uh -huh. So this was also, besides the material, that was the next step uh, that we implemented in this project. That's the first time that we had our own production here in Germany. Mm -hmm. So uh, beginning from the raw material to the process, mm -hmm. uh, we, we turned every stone around. and yeah. Yeah. Now we talked a bit about the material itself, but you are only interested in what actually lands at your customers yeah. in the material. So when I think about in a product like, like this, what do you at Schwalbe have in mind? Is this the high-end professional racer or is this the everyday guy who rides like three kilometers to his work? Yeah, so of course in the beginning it's really dedicated to performance mm -hmm. and that's the, the way we want to go, uh, but yeah, in midterm, it will also be a big, big point for, for the daily use on the normal rider mm -hmm. because the advantages that the air return tube provides are, yeah, are usable for everybody. Mm -hmm. So beginning from the lightweight, if you have a, a lighter system, mm -hmm. you need less effort to, uh, to power the pedal. Yeah. Uh, that's one point, but also the puncture and snake bite resistance is really impressive. Mm -hmm. So the, the risk that you flat is really, really low, and that's something that everybody uh, gains from. Is speed also a factor in this? Or? Yes, yeah. You mentioned rolling resistance is really important. Mm -hmm. uh, so rolling resistance means how much power reach, how much what do I need to uh, to ride a certain speed, like 40 k's an hour. Mm -hmm. And that's something we can reduce uh, by the aerotan tube. So it's uh, like a tubeless system. So we have really low friction mm -hmm. between the tube and the carcass. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you can really measure and feel on the bike. Mm -hmm. Mark, how much did you did you have to modify the material? Was this a kind of off-the-shelf solution or did you have to do some kind of technical tweaks to, to make it fit for Schwalbe's needs? Yeah, this story was um, at the end a very long story yeah, because as I mentioned already, first task was to identify the, the real requirements which were needed. And um, yeah, we start off with some prototypes in our technical lab where we developed um, or where we test um, first um, material solutions and for sure then uh, the final material adjustments um, was, was needed and needs to be done. And this was something what we did in um, Coburg, I would say, with, with Schwalbe and also their partner who makes the extrusion. Actually, it's not only about the tube itself. There's another element that both of the companies have, have co-created. Maybe you can tell us a little yeah. more about that. So there's small. another very important but small part of the, of the tube. It's the valve and the valve stem. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, we had some struggle with uh, mechanical and also uh, environmental cracking mm -hmm. or abrasion. Mm -hmm. And that was solved by this uh, material. Uh, it's reinforced material. So it's really resistant against heat, against heat and mechanical forces. So to be on the safe side and to do not fear any loss of air. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's interesting because um, nowadays, of course, sustainability, recyclability, especially when we're talking about plastics and foams, is a big topic. Um, so this is, as I understand, not a one material solution, but still you have made some progress in terms of recyclability, right? That's true. So the first thing is definitely that we have now with this aerosane tube a one material mm -hmm. solution where only thermoplastic polyurethane is used for the tube but also for the wave feed and for the wave uh, shaft. Okay. And uh, this all together makes the recycling much easier yeah, than for common uh, tubes. So recycling is also a topic within BSF and not only recycling, also bio-based solutions are um, option where we work on and where we make some developments and I think this builds a good potential for the future also for the bicycle tubes uh, to develop it on. How important is that for you at Schwalbe, the, uh, the topic of recyclability? Yeah, really important. Uh, we already started a similar project with retail tubes mm -hmm. uh, to get them back from the, from the dealers and uh, involve them in new production of tubes mm -hmm. and uh, that's the next step we want to do with the aerosane tube that we all also can uh, get back the tubes that are used for three or five years and are uh, replaced. 
so that we can recycle the material and probably use it for new tubes or uh, different other applications. The tube is on sale now, is in stores now, but I know that you at Schwalbe, um, you um, have a very specific uh, concept of how you sell, how you distribute your products. Maybe you can tell us more about that. So the, as you mentioned, the Aerostrand tube is available right now and uh, it's not so sold by us or it will not be uh, provided by us. It's for the, for the dealers and also the online sailors. Mm -hmm. So you can purchase it uh, yeah, by a specific bike dealer and uh, that's the way where we sell the tube. Mm -hmm. Mark, do you, do you cycle? <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> I start off, yeah? so um, <laughs> with this project I get more and more interest in um, yeah, bicycle. Maybe try it, and would be Yeah, for example, option. yes, definitely. Yeah. Gentlemen, thanks so much for your insights uh, on this project. Um, I think as we come back to the, uh, to the beginning of this conversation. I mean, you need a team in order to, prof to be successful. You need a team behind you. I think both of you, you are the team, combined with lots of other colleagues behind this new superstar in bicycle tube technology. Congratulations to that. And with that, I say goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. BASF. We create chemistry.